good. That's recording. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, um, I've met some of you before, so I've been here a few times. Does anyone recognise what this is? No? No one's used it in the gym or seen any videos online? It's one of those things that you have to It is. So you've seen some of the exercises. It's basically pivots in both directions, so up and down, side to side, so both. Um, so how's it best going to be used? Is any sort of rotational work? or moving against that lever motion. So using the lever or using the rotation. Um, so you could have a full body workout on this. You might not want to though, because some of the equipment, you've got a well-equipped gym, some of the equipment is better suited. So say that we did kettlebells, changing the center of mass, they're better for things like swinging movements, because the center of mass is further away, but they might not be as good as things like pressing movements, like your dumbbells and barbells. So pick the appropriate equipment, but I'll show you some of the popular exercises to do on here, and then I'll show you some others which are a bit more sport specific. Um, so like Gary was saying, we'll be training. So there's an element of skill, there's an element of your mentality, but if your fitness is better, if you're stronger than your opponent, and you're injury uh, free through doing those exercises, then you've got more chance of winning. Okay? So I'll show you some of the common exercises. So Terry just pointed some out. So it's using it for things like shoulder press. So say if I go up into position, and it's a good angle for me to shoulder press. You notice that there's two there. So we could do it with a single bar, or we could grab both bars to do pressing movements. And I'm moving against the lever arm of the machine. So I'm pressing against it, so it's quite a comfortable movement. Okay, now other exercises that you might have seen performed are things like one arm rows, which you can do from a variety of different angles, or T bar rows. So if any of you have gone to the gym, you've probably seen someone doing a T bar row. Obviously, you could put plates on the end, it's not just with a bar. Yeah, you put plates on here, so I've stuck a couple of handles on to show you some stuff. We put some plates on there. For some of the exercises, all you're really going to want is the bar. Um, so now one of the exercises that Gary saw was a lever squat. Okay, so the idea of a lever squat, I think we've got a few rugby players amongst you as well. So you lean into it and you push against it. Now you can finish this as well with a shoulder press if you want to. So it's like a heave press, or you can just perform the squatting movement. So say like there's a bit of crossover with rugby players in the scrum, but if you add say a linebacker in American football, they drive up through the hips to push someone off. So using your gra using the gravity by leaning forwards and pushing into <coughs> it, you can drive through someone. Now it might not necessarily carry over into boxing, but it's quite kind on your lower back and knees if you're in that squat position. Okay? And using the rotational element, rotating from side to side, which is very important when you box it. Okay, now a few variations that you wouldn't normally see performed that you could do. So I mentioned a sensible squat, driving into it. If any of you do tire flips as well, this is how you should do a tire flip. It's using your body weight to lean into it. But, as you want to stay more centred when you're boxing, there's no reason you couldn't take a more upright stance, in which case it's very difficult with the lever. So you have to use a lot more stabilising muscles to keep that upright stance. Okay. I've mentioned different pressing movements. With the rotation, so we're showing different rotation, another unusual exercise that you could do is anti-rotation. So sometimes it's called rainbows. So this machine automatically wants to rotate it. So what you do is resist it. So you bring it down to the side and you resist against the rotation. So you try and keep your torso straight. So again, if you've got a lot of strength in your core, you can throw some hard punches. I'm just using the bar here, and that's very tough. Um, last one I was in, I showed you some shoulder exercises. The reason being is a lot of boxers are going to end up with shoulder injuries at one point. Um, 
normally the rotator cuff, which the muscles of the rotator cuff serve to stabilize your shoulder. So it's a very free movement joint, it's very shallow, and what keeps it in that position is your rotator cuff. Now some good exercises you can do are internal and external rotation. So the same like if I start in this position, I do a press if I want to start the movement, to work my shoulders, and I can turn around, holding the bar in that position, and my rotator cuff muscles are meant to serve to keep the bar in that position because the bar is actually wanting to go either way. Now with that, I can perform, rather than a press across my body, I can perform an exercise called a W press. Okay, now the first Mr. Olympia, Larry Scott, he did some more unorthodox exercises which he felt uh, back to work the muscles. So the W press, rather than shoulder press in the gym, we just go straight up. It's a lot harder because you're pressing out. Now it's very good to do on a lever mechanism like this. So you're pressing out because you're having to stabilize that joint as well. Okay, so again, you can turn around, different angles. And think about, we've got um, two what are called back ring handles here as well. You can practice this with variations of squats or lunges with your guards. So I've seen Gary before, there's microphone, mobile phone. Okay, now if you're doing your various guards, if you're doing a low guard, or you're doing a high guard, then you can change the stances on here. Squat, or just change the position. You can show the press in there, as if you're mimicking a punch. And you can do the same on the both parts. Okay? So lots of variations, so not one that you might have seen in the gym, like a squat pushing against it, T-bar rows, one-arm rows. There's a lot of other exercises you can do, so I'm strengthening your shoulders, strengthening your legs. It's a bit more sport specific. And what did Eugene dislocate on Friday? Shoulder. The shoulder. And what has Matt Crouch had problems with over the years? Dislocated shoulders. Yeah, so for boxers, it's something you're likely going to injure, particularly when you're throwing punches as well, or if you're going to throw them quickly, because if you, if you almost force your shoulder out of alignment like you're going to be doing with some of the punches, or going to move quickly, then that's very hard on your rotator cuff. So anything you can do to help strengthen it, you're more likely going to stay injury free, and you're actually going to be stronger. So even, even say like powerlifters have got massive uh, bench presses, the weak element of the bench press is your rotator cuff, because it's one of the moves you're trying to force your shoulder out of alignment. Now, how they improve that or avoid injury is having baby weights and doing small exercises to strengthen their rotator cuff or things like that. And then that's how they're able to lift such heavy weights and hopefully avoid injury. Okay? So if anyone wants to have a go, probably leave, or if anyone has any questions, just let me know. Alright? Mm. Job done.